Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some tips for making selections even easier in Fusion 360, and all of these tips are centered around one key on your keyboard. On the Mac this is the Command key, and on the PC this is the Control key. The first example is really common, and it happens when you're trying to select a joint origin that might be hard to click. In this case I'm trying to select the bottom face of this hole right here. As you can see we have different joint origins that are appearing, and it's really hard to click. What I can do is move my mouse until I see the joint origin that I'm trying to select, and then I can hold the command key on Mac or control on a PC to limit my options to just those that I see right here. Now I can easily move my mouse around and just select the bottom joint origin. Once I've done that, all I have to do is select the mating joint origin over here, and now we have our assembly. The next example is using the same method to add to or remove from a selection inside of a feature that you've already started. As you can see here, I have eight faces selected, and I can extrude them down to perform a cut. Now I accidentally selected the wrong profile over here, really I want to select this profile. Being that I've already started the extrude command, it may feel like you can't add or remove from the selection. All I have to do is hold the command key on Mac or control on a PC, and now I can deselect this profile, and still holding down the same key, I can add this one. And once I let go, I'm all set to finish my extrude command. Our last example is using the same method on another feature where it may feel like you can't add any more selections to the selection set. I'll start the shell command, and I want to select this face to remove all that material and shell it out. Now it may seem like that I'm not able to remove these faces over here as I can't select them. If I want to remove all of these internal circular faces, all I have to do is again hold the command key on Mac or control on PC, and now I can add these selections to the faces that I'd like to remove inside of the shell command. I'll select all of them right here, I'll hit OK, and now we've properly shelled out our part. So there you have it, there's three tips as far as how you can really improve making selections in Fusion 360, and all of them are done with the same key. Again, if you missed it, it's the command key on Mac, or the control key on a PC. Thanks for watching.